I'm Angela. Welcome if you've never been to my channel before. I'm normally an unboxing and shopping haul channel, but my husband and I are on this really cool adventure where we have been down in Florida for the past month trying to escape the cold of the winter in Michigan. And our last stop is the Villages. We just got here yesterday and really like it so far. There's a lot of great things here. Um, interesting, it's very interesting. So I'm very happy to share it with you. Um, we are right outside of our house in Atwood, I think it's called Atwood Bungalows. And this is uh, a little subdivision where you would stay if you came down and did one of their lifestyle previews. So if you come down with kids, there's a different area that they have you go to that's closer to a family style pool that you can take the kids to. But this is an adult community. And from what I've been told, everybody staying in this community are new people to the villages. Hi. <laughs> um so they're all checking it out so when you stay here you know you're surrounded by people that are doing the same thing that you're doing which is kind of neat so we're all newbies here i'm going to back up and give you kind of a little tour of outside the house you can see the house is behind me and let's see let's go this way and we'll do a little golf cart tour up and down the little neighborhood here but i'm going to say there's probably about 50 60 houses in this little neighborhood so there's a lot of places to be able to stay and i'm really excited to show you the house because it's really nice if i would have known what i knew before i when i booked this we would have stayed here for more than four nights you can stay from four nights i think it's minimum on their preview package uh to seven nights is a maximum and what time of year that you come, sorry, the wind is kind of like making my eyes water. Um, what time of year you come is how much it is a night, basically. We came in the heaviest time of the year. So for us, it was $200 a night for the package. And that includes your house, that includes a golf cart, that includes two bikes. Um, it includes, uh, let's say, did I say golf? Um, all your activities, you get passes to the activity centers that you can go and participate in a lot of different clubs and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Um, so it's, it's neat. I'm gonna, I can't wait to show you. I'm gonna spin you guys around uh, so that you can see through the walkthrough of the house. We're gonna do that first, and then we're gonna hop in the golf cart and take a little ride down to Brownwood Village. And I'll show you around the little shops or restaurants there. And by the time that we get down there, they should be having live music down there. So that should be fun. Um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, okay. So I just want to put this out there. In no way am I any kind of expert on the villages. Like we just got here 24 hours ago. So just know that. But we're sharing our experience with you guys. What the house looks like. What the town looks like and all that. And if you have some questions, feel free to ask. But I don't know that we'll be able to answer everything. But... I'm telling you, you're gonna like what you think, what you see, I think. Hi, Sheila. All right, so let me turn this camera around and let's go take a look inside. Here we go. Sorry, let's flip this. Okay, so I am standing right out in the front here. You've got this little rock garden with some plants and you've got a nice little area to stay in. A nice little patio area to sit outside, kind of watch what the golf carts go by. And here's the front door here. Got a light, nice little welcome. So when you walk in here, you get a little doggy treat. <laughs> you get a little doggy visit. Bentley, can you say hi? Yay. Okay, so here you are in your little foyer here. You got a nice little foyer when you walk in. And right next to your front door is the door to go into the garage, right in the same area here. And we'll go out that later. Uh, when we go in the golf cart. So here is the main area. We love this layout actually, it's very open. Um, nice wood laminate floor, which is really nice. And you've got a nice big island here in your kitchen and nice sink. Actually, Bentley got a bath in here today. So it's a great sink if you have a little dog, you can give them, give them a bath in there. And let's see, you have got um, refrigerator. They really give you a lot of stuff. 
You even have a Keurig. So in here, they give you all kinds of little coffee choices. So that's kind of cool. I brought my own down, but they've got a decaf, they have regular, and they have like a espresso. So that's kind of nice. They even give you uh, your sugar, your creamers. They give you little cups over there. You have your knives, uh, cutting board, and look at the drawers. Look at this. All that have they have stacked up for you. Everything's very neat and organized. You really can come down here with like your clothes, your toothbrush, and your makeup and all that, and everything else is provided. You've got your coffee cups and glasses, wine glasses, regular. You've got dishes, microwave. You've got all your bowls and dishes over here. So that's really nice. You do have a toaster in your kitchen and you've got all your little utensils, your basics that you would need to, if you wanted to cook here. So that's kind of nice. And they provide you with even like garbage bags, um, they have soap, they have paper towel, uh, they give you toilet paper in the bathrooms. This really gives you a lot of stuff. They've got the dishwasher there, nice size refrigerator, and a lot of cupboard space. Look at this. So if you wanted to stack this sucker up with food or whatever, you've got a lot of room in there. So again, nice size kitchen. This is very open. Uh, you've got a little bit of seating at the island here. And then you've got this six table or six chairs here with your table in the dining room. Little patio outside we're gonna go to in a second. And this is your living room, which I think is really decorated nice, isn't it? It's very clean. Yes, very clean, very neat. Um, like the way that it's decorated. So you've got Wi-Fi here. They give you a password for that. Um, the trash, they come and pick it up every day for you. You just put it at the end of your driveway in your little trash bag. That's it. So that's kind of nice. So let's go out on the patio because I'm going to show you something that's really cool and Bentley has really enjoyed. You can bring a dog down here with you when you come for your preview stay and they do charge extra for it. I wanna say that we paid, come on Bentley, we paid uh, either 100 or 150 to have your dog come. I don't know if that's per dog um, or, you know, if it's, that's each. But look at this. So you've got a totally fenced in yard. Um, over here, you've got a nice little grass area. If you lived here, I mean, you could have a nice little patio set out here, but perfect if you've got a dog or dogs, you know, nice little uh, area here that they can come and just play or, you know, hang out, do their business. Look at this, you guys. You see these all over the place. They come on to, oh, he just went away. These little gecko lizards are all over the walls outside, obviously, and um, they're kind of neat. You don't see those back in Michigan. Okay, so let's go back in this patio area here. And you, this is nice. You've got a little lock on this door here. If you wanted to use that, they give you a little, couple of little chairs and a love seat and a fan out here too. So that's really nice. And let's go back inside. A lot more to see. This is a great layout. We love it. It gives you a lot of privacy. If you're coming down here with other people, um, the master bedroom is kind of off your dining room area. So let's go in here. And you've got a king size bed. It's lit really well. Very pretty. Yeah, I like the screened in porch too. That's really nice. If you like eating outside too, that makes it nice. Now you you know you have don't have to worry about the bugs or the little lizards or whatever you know. So nice size bed there, comfortable bed too, very comfortable. So that's nice. They give you a little mirror here, so if you ladies like to see what you're looking like before you go out for the day. And look at this closet, nice size closet in here, walk-in closet, extra towels, pillows, blankets ironing board, and even a little vacuum, just like home, right? You can vacuum all you want if you want. 
They do give you hangers. So that's nice too, that came with it. And then here is your ensuite. And look at this nice uh, counter area here. And on each side of the counter area, they give you all kinds of shelves, little drawers, um, lots of room to put whatever you need in there. One sink though, we noticed that. We're like, huh, okay, we probably could use one more sink, but it's not too bad. And check out the shower. This is a great shower. So again, this laminate that looks like wood is throughout the whole house. So in the shower, you've got a glass wall here. It's not a door that closes. You go around the corner and here's your towels here. And there's your little way to turn it on, but you go around the corner. They give you shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel, which is really nice. Um, temperature here is 81 today and sunny, it's beautiful. So this is a great shower and the thing is, see that little drain down there? So this floor in here is just slightly slanted. So all your water rushes down into that long drain down there. Kind of cool. You have a place to sit if you need to, right? Get a little tired. <laughs> and then you've got a little uh, sliding door over here so that you can have some privacy over in the toilet area. And you do have a sliding door here going into your master bedroom if you want to completely close yourself off. And okay, so that's your master batch, uh, bedroom. And now let's go to the rest of the house, which is kind of separated, it's kind of nice. Okay, so over here, you hear Bentley squeaking his little toy, he's excited. All right, so you come to this little hallway and you've got bedroom number two over here. And we have decided to use these bedrooms as our closet. We lay out our clothes <laughs> because we've been living out of our suitcase for a month. So it's nice to be able to spread them out and see everything. But this is, I think it's a queen size bed. Um, so that's really nice. And you've got nice drawer space in here if you wanna put your clothes, nice size closet, not a walk-in but it's a nice size closet in there for hanging your clothes. And then down the hallway we go, and you've got the laundry room next, full size washer and dryer, and you've got a little laundry tub over there. They even give you a laundry basket. So that's really nice. Very well lit in there too, which is nice. And then you've got bathroom number two, and this is a nice size, actually. I mean, the shower is your typical shower. It's not like the other one, but it's a good size. Got your bathtub and shower and a little bit smaller of a vanity, but still very nice. Got your cupboards. And then down the hall we go still. Now, bedroom number three. So like I say, you can come down here with some people and still have your own space and they can have their own space. I love the ceiling like that too. And the fan, you got a fan in every room, more drawers. There's my clothes pile down there, kind of hit it. <laughs> so another closet, so very nice space. Yeah, very spacious. Uh, I think another queen size bed, we were debating about this earlier. We're like, okay, is this a double, is this a queen? I think it's a, I think it's a queen. All right, so, and then you're back down the hallway, Bentley. For those of you all who miss Bentley, he's been enjoying this. He's actually gotten used to the golf cart ride, so he likes it. And then we're back into the main area. So very nice. Let me turn this around here. Okay, sorry, my eyes keep watering. I just keep wiping, wiping. Um, so we're really loving it. Actually, I put a couple things on the counter here that I wanted to just get a close up for you guys. It's information in case you ever are thinking about coming and checking out this preview package, just to kind of show you uh, a couple of different things on the counter here that they gave us. So one thing, they give you this pass. When you ride around in your golf cart, you can go in any community that you want. It opens the gate to the communities. So you can see different houses and neighborhoods with that when you come down. Then they give you this little pamphlet. I just want you guys to notice how far away the villages 
is from other things. Orlando, you're about 51 miles. Disney, 55. Um, Daytona Beach, 76. And you've got Tampa, 76. So you're kind of, if you want to go to the beach, the Gulf or the Atlantic coast, you know, you're about 76 miles away from either side there. Um, also, for those of you who are interested in what it costs to be in the villages, I'm going to kind of just zoom in on this a little bit, and then you can either rewind later and kind of pause on this part so that you can see what they charge for different expenses that add up to your total per month. Um, for your activity fees, it doesn't matter what size house you have in the villages. You pay the same monthly activity fees. So that's kind of nice um, that everybody can enjoy the same amenities. You're paying the same fees for those. So they give you a map when you check in here. This whole thing is Brownwood uh, Square, and we are right here. So it's very close. Where they put you is very close to the Brownwood. And you even have real close also a Publix. Shopping Center has Subway in there. It has a pizza place, um, Chinese place and your grocery store. And you can take the golf cart to the grocery store. So that's pretty cool too. And they also give you, here's a little map of our neighborhood. Um, so it kind of shows you all the different houses that are in this lifestyle package area that you would come and stay at. Um, a paper comes to your driveway every morning. And I thought this was interesting because it tells you there are over 3,000 clubs to pick from in the villages, 693 holes of golf, more than any other community in the world, 101 recreation facilities, and we toured those today and kind of got to see what was inside, 100 pools, that includes a family, neighborhood, and sports pools, 214 pickleball courts, people like their pickleball down here, and they even have, look at this, six dog parks. So that's pretty cool. There's areas that you can take your dog. Um, they also give you pamphlets. This is a recreation guide. So when you guys come down here, they give you one of these. It comes down, it comes out every Thursday, sorry. And inside, it gives you all the activities that they have going on for the week, what time, what day, and where. So you can kind of look through and say, you know, it's almost like a uh, when you go on a cruise and they give you a daily um, cruise compass or whatever they call it with all the activities in there. So this is like that. And you can kind of peruse and see what kind of activities that you may want to go check out. And then, of course, they're giving you brochures on if you want to look into houses here. They give you the pre-owned um, houses that might be for sale at that time and new houses and villas. So you can kind of look and see what kind of price range. They have a lot from 160 basically up to $3 million homes um, in the villages. So they do have a lot to choose from. And I wanna show you one more thing. We have not done any activities. No, we went to the uh, recreation centers today to kind of take a look at what was there, but we didn't go to any um, anything yet. Public is nice, you're right. I wanted to show you this too. Right off the kitchen, look at your pantry, walk-in pantry. And they give you like baking dishes, mixing bowls. You've got a um, mixer up there, pitcher. And this is just all our stuff that we brought from traveling uh, around Florida. Because when you, typically when you go to a Airbnb, you have to bring a lot of your stuff with you. So, okay. So, if you guys have any questions as I'm going, I'm gonna ask if you could put your questions in all capital letters. The reason I ask that is because it will stand out to me more. Um, sometimes if people, sometimes the comments will just keep rolling and it will be hard for me to catch it. Um, or they'll be there and if it's a long comment, I'll get half of it and then it disappears on me. It's like, oh, I didn't get to read it all. Um, anyways, I am going to, um, Grab a few things. Does anybody have any questions? Because I think my my husband, which is the golf cart driver today, is I can hear him in the garage. He's on the phone. So I thought I will, um, hi, Karen. 
I will ask you guys if you have any questions before we go and do a little exploring outside. Any questions about the house at all or if it has something that you're thinking about? Um, no, our kids, Sheila, they went home. They were with us in Mount Dora, which is where we were uh, just before here. And that was about 45 minutes from Orlando, north of Orlando. They came down for the week and that's where they stayed. And uh, yeah, don't drink and drive the golf cart. Um, we've heard stories. Yeah, there's some golf cart accidents down here. People get a little carried away and sometimes their golf cart ends up in the middle of the golf course, like not during playing hours. So uh, anyways, yeah, that happens. How long are we planning on being here? We're only going to be here until Thursday. We are heading home on Thursday, you guys. I cannot believe this went by so fast. So, and I'm hearing there is a lot of snow in Michigan today. A lot, like a foot. Yeah. And so I told my husband, I'm like, you better look, you know, is it, what's it going to be on Friday when we're going through Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan to get back home? And he said there didn't look like there was any. So, um, yeah, I don't want to go back. Wait till you look outside. You, you will know why I don't want to go back. <laughs> Not yet anyways, you know. It's been so nice to be, like, look at what I'm wearing today. Short sleeve, little dress, little, uh, my little Walmart uh, white little slides. I mean, honestly, for the past week and a half, that's what's been going on. Short sleeve shorts. Um, I don't think we would, we're not ready to move here to like, re, we're not ready to retire. My husband works from home uh, full time. Uh, he has since since COVID started, actually, since last March. So um, we will probably always stay in Michigan is my guess, but we're looking for places to go in the winter, you know, like January, February, maybe come back beginning of March. So we can kind of get out of the cold. Um, it's been lovely. I've been out walking so much. Uh, it's, it's just great down here and no rain. I've been hearing Rain, rain, rain. It's going to be, you know, going on all day while we're down here. It's sunny. It's beautiful. I can't wait to get outside and show you guys. Okay, so does anybody, you ready? Okay. Um, <laughs> I think he's on the phone with a client. Okay, so did you pay a daily rate since not staying the whole month? So if when you rent in the villages, I know this from um, just looking on Airbnb before we came to the villages and before I checked out the uh, preview package, uh, there were people that will rent out their houses down here, but they want long-term. So if you're looking for a week, you, know, you may find something, you may find it. But what I was looking at at that time that I booked, and that was October for February, people wanted like a month you know, long, more long-term to stay. So I thought, no, we don't want to just, because it's the first time checking out the villages, we didn't want to stay a month alone here. We only had a month total to go to three places to check them out. So uh, I like it here, actually. Out of the three places that we've been to this, um, you know, month in Florida, this has been my favorite. Destin was good, but cold. Too cold for us in the winter time to kind of get away to was very nice. Um, but it was like 50, maybe 60, which is better than home. But you you had to put on a sweatshirt jacket. Uh, you know, you had to bu kind of bundle up every day. You weren't laying out in the sun at all. There's my hubby. He's getting ready. Um, and then we went to Mount Dora. And once we hit Mount Dora, which is just north of Orlando, then the weather started getting beautiful. We're talking like high 70s, low 80s every day. It was it was great. Yeah, Dustin is cold. I mean, I think Dustin would be a great place to go in the springtime, you know, a little later, maybe March, April. I, mean, I don't know, because I haven't been there at that time, but it was a little cold when we were there um, in January. So, all right, he is ready to go. So we're gonna take off in the go-kart, or go-kart, in the golf cart. Are you guys ready? This is gonna be fun. All right, I'm gonna turn this thing around. I'm gonna be flipping back and forth so you can see me talking and you can see the area too. So let's see. Here's our garage. So we have got a golf cart here and they give you bikes. So 
Um, yeah. Okay, so you've got, sorry, sorry, I'm trying to read some of the comments sometimes too. Um, you've got the bikes. It does come with a little lock on the bike too, and they give you a key. So if you want to ride the bike somewhere, park them, walk around, go have lunch, you're able to do that. Um, then the golf cart, we get a two-seater, and I think that's pretty standard. It comes with the house. It's got a little rack here. You can put your golf clubs or whatever. Um, back there, you've got a little basket. This is where I was putting my groceries the other day. And it's nice because if it's raining, it's got sides that come down. You unroll this and the sides come down and zip so you are inside and not getting all wet. So there's little Wee, he's ready to go for his ride. <laughs> all right, so let me get in here. I'm gonna apologize in advance, you guys, cause it might be a little bumpy and you're gonna hear the motor because this is a gas motor. So my husband's gonna try to go a little slower so it's not so, so bad as far as the noise goes. Um, but that's just, it's just what it is. So here's the neighborhood. Here's some of the houses that you would, that you may regular garages and a golf cart. So then we're pretty close to the, uh, yeah, I love it. it. It is pretty cool in here. So you've got a little gate that you have to go through, kind of like one of those arms that come down. So that lifts up. And now we're on a little venture to go over to Brownwood. So this trail here is golf cart, walk, and bike trail. Um, that's for both. So when you're not in the village itself, you have to be on the golf cart trail. But once you get into the actual village, you your golf cart is like a car. Um, that's what you treat it like. So here we go, no gators. Oh, actually, I lied. We did see gators in Mount Dora. Um, there was a really cute, cool area, a bridge walk that we went to, and it was really by like a swampy area. And we saw a gator in the water, but you know, nothing bad. Hi, Vicki, I'm glad you caught the live too. I'm glad you're up. <laughs> All right, so here we go. They've got a health uh, facility over there. Over in the distance, you can see that big building. That's Brownwood Hotel. Uh, so that's kind of nice over there. You come down. You cannot stay there with a dog, though. I checked on that before we even came down here. Uh, so that's the only problem with that place. That's why we didn't go. But it worked out really for the better because then we got to stay in this house. Okay, so over to this, look at how close you are to the public. So you just go across the street and you're in that plaza. Very close. It's a beautiful day. I mean, the weather is, it's, it's really nice. Short sleeve, good to go. So here we go. We're going down into a tunnel under the road to go into the plaza. It's kind of cool that you can have you know? They've thought of everything. You got a little sharp turn here going into a tunnel. <laughs> Are you guys there? I thought, I think I lost you guys. We went into that tunnel and then uh, I think I lost you. Can you hear me and, and see everything now? Yes, okay, perfect. All right, sorry, if we go through a tunnel, I don't think we're going through another tunnel. So I'm, I apologize. I didn't know we would lose you. Oh no, right here, right here. <laughs> okay, so now we're on the street. Sorry about that guys. We're gonna be straight. All right, so we're going into the town square Yep, we're back. We went through that tunnel and it cut us off. It cut off the live. All right, here we go. Yep, we're just gonna go straight. Look at those palm trees. All right, you're gonna see a lot of golf carts. See how they park them? They all kind of go in instead of parallel parking like a car. So this uh, Brownwood Square is the newer square right now in the villages. They are building another village. I think it's called Fenny or something like that, but it's in the very beginning stages. You're gonna notice today that Brownwood has a lot more open 
uh, buildings that's, that can be rented. Like there's not as many stores and restaurants in here as there are in the other village we're gonna take you to tomorrow. Um, it, that village has been around for a while longer. So that's Lake Sumner. So here we go, we're going through the middle of the village. Sorry, trying not to be shaky here. We're going over some humps. Here's the uh, Blue Fin Grill on the corner here. That's supposed to be a good restaurant. All right. You guys can hear the music in the square going. We'll pass that in a little bit. So here is, for all you dog lovers, it's a Wolfgang Bakery and Grooming. You can go in there and buy your dog a treat. Got some stores. This is Gator's Dockside, another restaurant. And we're coming up, we're gonna be in a, look at this little, look at that go-kart, or golf cart. <laughs> I keep calling it a go-kart. That's cute. You guys should see some of the golf carts down here. I mean, they are really cool, really decorated cool. All right, we're gonna, we're coming up to a main road over here, so we're gonna turn back around and go through the villages a little bit more. And I'll show you a restaurant we ate at yesterday. It was very good. So there's a highway out there, 44, if anybody, any is one down here in Florida is familiar with that, there's 44. All right. And here's Cody's Roadhouse. You can take your dog here. They have a patio outside. And that's where we ate uh, yesterday. I had a, um, uh, a Beyond Burger. That was really good. My husband had a steak, potato, salad. That was, he liked that a lot too. So more stores that are empty over here. That's, there's stuff down here in Brownwood, but not as much as you're gonna see tomorrow. Here's a furniture place. And, oh, it's, it's a pretty big furniture place. It kind of goes down a ways. The whole thing is a furniture place. And here is the bluefin. Now the thing about staying eating here around this time is you're gonna get to hear the music from the town square right here. So you're sitting out eating your dinner and you can hear the music. So that's pretty cool. And then here is the movie theater. Now it's closed right now, but it's opening on Friday. So of course the day after we leave. They have, uh, I think it, set, it has room up there for eight. I don't think they have eight separate movies at a time. I think maybe they have four and two theaters are showing each movie. That's, that's my thought, but I'm not sure. Ice cream place here. We have not checked that out yet. My husband has thought about it, but we haven't gone there yet. <laughs> and City Fire. This is a great uh, restaurant and bar, I've heard. What are we doing for dinner? You know, we wanted to go to Wolfgang Puck's uh, kitchen, and that's in that Brownwood Hotel. And I called there today and make a reservation on the patio. And the lady's like, nope, only service dogs. I'm like, darn it. So we can't go there. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Look at all these golf carts. It's the time of day. Everybody drives their golf carts down here. I mean, why Why not really? The weather is nice, Golf Central. Um, you know, I mean, it's perfect. You, you know, people have electric golf carts down here. They have the uh, gas. Yes, 81 degrees today and sunny. So here's where you can rent a golf cart. If you guys come down to the villages and you, let's say you stay in a house, you rent an Airbnb or something, and they don't have a golf cart, in every village they have this golf cart rental. Uh, we came here a separate day and rented a four person golf cart. What was it, like $48 with tax? Yeah. $48 with tax for the day. So that's pretty nice that you have that availability. They have um, two person golf carts, four and six person golf carts. So if you come down here with a little crew, you can ride around in a golf cart still. Okay, and look at this. They even have like doors you can close on them. I mean, they get, they get pretty good. Some are air conditioned. Yeah, some are air conditioned. Can you believe that? 
I guess it would be good in the summertime. You know, when it gets stinking hot outside, you can be in a little air conditioned golf cart. You can bring your gar golf cart for service right here. If something goes wrong with it. And then right next door, they have the village golf cart gas station. <laughs> So right here, they got a couple of lanes that you can pull in, especially for, go for golf carts. I gotta get that right. I keep saying, wanting to say go-karts. Go All right, so there's another golf cart path. And we're gonna turn around because we're coming to the end of Brownwood Village in another direction here. One thing I didn't tell you guys about when we were looking at the maps on the counter in the kitchen is that the family, <laughs> now you guys can see me. Sorry, my hair is all crazy. Um, the family that started the villages, they are from upper, um, up north in Michigan and Traverse City actually. And um, so when they came down here to start the villages, a lot of the streets in the villages are named after towns in Michigan, up north. Traverse City, Charlevoix, there was, what other streets did we see that were Michigan? Grand Traverse. Yeah, Grand Traverse. Um, so, oh, somebody, Sheila thanked you for being the chauffeur. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's kind of neat. And this, this family owned a restaurant. I think it was a restaurant um, up in on Torch Lake in Traverse City. The mom would sing. She was a singer. So that's the entertainment in the restaurant. The dad was like the, um, like the host, he'd bring people in, talk to them, whatever. And the kids all worked in the restaurant too. And the father of either the mom or the dad, I forget, the, the guy that is kind of like your person when you're down here doing this stay, um, they you can pick their brain about all kinds of stuff. Like any questions that you have, they're there to answer questions when you come for a preview stay. By text, by phone call, he'll come and take you around, show you places, he or she. we. Our guy is real nice. He's he's kind of a younger guy. He grew up in the villages, which is cool. Um, yeah, here's Bentley. He likes the golf cart ride. Bentley, but let me get the camera down. Can you say hi? Yeah. I'll have to tell you guys Bentley's story about what happened today. It was no bueno. But anyway, okay, so just wanted to tell you that about the family that came down to start the villages, being from Michigan. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to turn you guys back around again so you can see more as we pass. So this town, of course, is kind of like old saloon-ish, like uh, old western town themed. And on uh, outside of all, a lot of these uh, stores, let's say, they have like rustic things written on the building, even though it's not what the store is. Like one of these places up here says general store. This says gunsmith. Do you see that? But there's nothing in there. It's like the health area. Um, so here's another building. The sales office is coming up. More people in their golf carts. These golf carts. Okay, so we got a slow one, but that's okay. <laughs> no, I'm going slow. No, no. I, we're, I, they know we're going slow for a reason too. Um, but you can get souped up golf carts down here. Like that can go, what, 25? 24. 24. Ours goes about 19. So we can sometimes get passed up on the golf cart trails if people are uh, wanting to pass us here. Nancy, girlfriend. Nancy, cousin Nancy's on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hi, Nancy. Nancy. Woo woo. <laughs> um, okay. Oh yeah, somebody's going by because we got a little, got a little delivery stop. So we gotta wait a second. Look at all these golf carts, you guys, everywhere. It's so fun though, you know. Like when you can come to a little town like that and drive around in your golf cart, pretty much everywhere. Rain or shine, because we've got you know coverage. Here's a sales center. That's where. Uh, that's basically where you call. You know, when you book the villages, this little tour. Um, you call the people at the sales center to inquire and they get all the information and what you're looking for out of your stay. And, uh, you know, they help you out. And then you uh, have a sales representative who um, contacts you and that's your guy or gal while you're down here. Um, see, you even got an AT&T store. You got a Rustic Rose Boutique. Um, and I remember when I booked this, 
she was like, okay, so I, you know, is there any kind of salesperson you'd like in particular? I'm like, well, we get turned off if we get anybody that's real hard bent on like a selling us. You know, we like to be shown around, we like to have someone to ask questions to, but we don't want the hard sell. I said, that will be a turn off. And the guy that we got is perfect. He is so nice. He's never, he's like, whenever you need me, you just call. Town Dental. So it's really nice. They will set you up with a person that is good for you. You know, if you are like, I'm here to hunt for houses and that's what I want to do with my time. Perfect. They'll set you up with the right person for that. So it really is individualized. Look at all these cute little areas, but they're not rented yet. So that's the thing. This town is still just, should I say up and coming? <laughs> I mean, it's, it is, it's like, it needs to be um, more stores and stuff. Buildings going up here still. Um, then we're coming up and we're gonna turn around here. The health club. Yeah, we got a health club over here. It's pretty big too. Lots of um, equipment and stuff in there. We looked in the windows the other night when we went for a walk, but no one was in there. I mean, it was probably what, six, seven at night though? So, you know, maybe no one's working out at that time. Okay, here are, you guys have done any research on the villages. These are called the lofts and they're apartments. Um, so you can get an apartment down here too. Uh, it's real close to the village of Brownwood. So you could walk, you could walk, you could take your golf cart, bike, whatever. And um, we'll turn around and you'll get a better look from the other side of the street there. But uh, they have, looks like three levels to the building and you can get a garage in there. It's either a detached garage, a carport, or you can get a garage that's on the lower level of the building, but it doesn't connect to your specific apartment. It goes to like a um, hallway. So there, that white car over there is coming out of a garage, okay, uh, under the building. But you go into a hallway in the building and then you either go to your apartment or up you know, to your level. They have a pool in there uh, for the people that live in the apartments. And you get all the amenities uh, living in these apartments that you would with a house. And, um, oh, a cake shop down here. That would be very, I have not seen a bakery. You know what? Mm, I don't know. But you know what? If I come down here for like a month or two, I want to relax. <laughs> but that's a great idea. That would be good. Okay, here's some more uh, garages. That's detached over there. So you can pay for one of those. And it's a short walk, you know, basically to your building, so it's not bad. But you've got your screened in porches over here for your apartments too. Haven't been in there, so I can't tell you what they look like on the inside. Cute on the outside. All right, we're turning back into the village of Brownwood. The mass situation is interesting. It's kind of uh, half and half down here. Um, you know, people, if they're in their golf cart, of course, like we're not wearing a mask right now, but there's nobody around us. I mean, you guys can see there's just like no one. Um, if we walk around Brownwood and there's a lot of people in the area we're walking, we wear a mask, of course. Um, but if we're walking and, you know, wherever, and there's no one around, we, we don't, you know, we're not wearing uh, the mask. A lot of people, even in the restaurants, when we pass some of these restaurants, even take a look on the patios and stuff. Very rarely they're wearing their mask. So, and I'm, you know, whatever, okay? I'm not, I'm not gonna, everybody's got their own opinion, that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, you got a barber shop here. You got a nail salon. Um, Nancy, your uncle lives in the villages? I missed half that comment. Darn it, sometimes it just goes away to, oh, back in Michigan, oh, gotcha, okay. We're gonna go straight up. All right, here is a deli. It's McAllister, McAllister's Deli. We ate there. Good sandwiches, soup, salads. You got a shoe store. So that's cute. Uh, spice and tea exchange for all you tea lovers. And more golf carts. <laughs> you got a Five Guys. See? Just go get a quick burger lives in Florida but oh moving back to Michigan okay thank you because sometimes these messages go by and I can't get them all 
All right, here's a town square. You got live music going on every night, 365 nights of the year. They got pavilions that you can go sit in. People come and just stay in their golf carts, listen to music too. Um, here is an Italian restaurant on the corner. Yeah. And then we're kind of back to where, where we started from. So we'll go down this way. You want to take them to uh, the Publix or that hotel? Give them a look at the hotel. Okay. All right, we're going to go back through. We're going to go to um, take a look at the Publix Center. If you guys, now anybody's thinking about uh, coming down here, then you'll be able to see what shopping plaza is close to you that you can take your golf cart to and go grocery shopping, what's in there. Uh, you could walk there too, honestly, but you know, then you'd have to carry your stuff back. And we're gonna take you by the Brownwood Hotel and take you for a little spin around there because that's really pretty too. Brand new. We have not been inside the hotel yet to kind of take a look. I mean, you've got, did you guys notice while we were driving by, you've got your dermatologist down here, you got chiropractors, you have um, an allergy placed over there, you have, uh, what, other, what other kind of places? Edward Jones, whatever. I'm gonna turn this around now for a little bit. Okay, there we go. We're going straight. All right, we're gonna, oh, you know what though? We're going through the tunnel again. All right, fair warning. Well, maybe we shouldn't go. Okay, we're gonna go through the tunnel again. Can we go without so going through the tunnel? So keep, stay on. We're gonna probably lose you in the tunnel, but stay on and it's gonna reload and then I'll be back with you after we get out of the tunnel if it, for some reason, gets weird. All right. Probably gonna lose you, but just know you can do everything here. There's so many. There's so many clubs. Even if you don't like to golf, it's not a big deal. There's so many other things to do. Go, go, go! <laughs> Let's go fast. <laughs> so we can out and lose them. Oh, maybe we didn't lose you guys this time. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. So I think we did good. You guys still with us? All right, we're going over to the plaza. I don't know, does anybody comment? Com someone comment so you, I know that you guys are still with us and I didn't lose you some, somehow. Okay, perfect, all right, thank you. All right, here, I'm gonna turn you around again. Going in the plaza, the Publix. You guys can see what's here. Guess what I did this morning, everyone, at 7 a.m.? Any guesses? It's a little fuzzy, sorry. I don't know if um, it was from going through the tunnel. Still here, good. Um, so you've got a chiropractor over here in this plaza. You have nails again. You have an eye place. Haircut, you can get your hair cut. A separate door just for the liquor. <laughs> okay, our guy was telling us that uh, it's big down here. Everybody likes to drink. Not everybody, but you know what I'm saying? He, he said, what, what did he say? Like it's a... Or alcohol consumed per capita than any other place in Florida. Not a you surprise. Know, not a, not, you know, whatever. Have fun. Do it, you know, be happy. Whatever. Yeah. It's not for everybody, but I'm not going to judge. I'm not judging. I went to Walmart. Yes. <laughs> Lisa, I went to Walmart at 7 o'clock this morning. Am I crazy? I'm crazy. Uh, <laughs> but I got another good haul for you guys. <laughs> Uh, see, my, he doesn't mind. He knows that, you know, it's for showing you guys and whatever. There's a pizza place, a Dickie's barbecue over here, um, so that you guys know what's close to you, what little restaurants are close to you. Okay, let's go straight. Okay, I'm gonna turn you around. We're at the Brownwood. Brownwood Hotel. And this is where the Wolfgang Puck's uh, restaurant is that we wanted to try to get into, but no doggies. Um, all right, so let's take a ride kind of like around and then we'll come back over this way. So kind of maybe that way. Nice anyone, place. Uh, anyone catch the no golf carts beyond this point sign? Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going rogue now, everyone. We're going rogue. We're in an area we shouldn't be in. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Okay, Wolfgang Puck's chicken, or kitchen. <laughs> no, I have not been drinking, my friends. Um, so you know what we decided to do? We're gonna get carry out from there tonight. We're gonna show them. We have a dog. We don't wanna leave him at home because you know what? He, he, doesn't, he doesn't like being left alone in an area he's not familiar with. I mean, I wouldn't, right? So we're gonna get carry out. Look at this little courtyard, that's neat. This is a medical area, uh, not a hospital, but it's a nice, like during the day, oh, surgery pickup. Maybe it's like outpatient surgery kind of stuff. Um, they, they, we've heard they have really good medical facility down here. Best time to go Walmart. I'm telling you what, there was hardly anybody in there. It was perfect, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna turn this back around for a minute while we swing back around. And uh, Walmart was really nice. I'll, I'll stop talking about Walmart in a second. Um, it was a very clean Walmart. Very organized, very clean. I liked it. Starbucks, there is a Starbucks. It's in the village we're going to tomorrow, Pam. No Starbucks in Brownwood. So, I'm. that's a fine, I got a Keurig machine. I've been taking my, uh, I brought my Trader Joe coffee down here that I like in my Keurig machine and uh, making that every day. So. Okay, we're almost to the point where I'll turn you around again so you can see the other uh, side of the Brownwood. So I can't wait to take you guys to um, Lake Sumner Landing tomorrow night. Uh, so tomorrow it's gonna be five o'clock and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tour that on a golf cart so you can see what's in that village. Um, all right, let me turn you around. It's Wolfgang Puck. Nice hotel entrance there. Pretty. And then this must be like a, um, uh, what do you want to call it? Um, convention convention center. center, yeah. <laughs> you know, banquet hall or whatever. All right, and now we got to go straight to get up back on the golf cart path. So these golf cart paths will take you pretty much anywhere. Now tomorrow, when we do the live from the other village, um, it is about, from our house that we're staying in right in here, it is about a 25 to 30 minute ride in the golf cart to the next village. So that's not that bad. Um, so that you guys don't have to hear this motor all the way over there, we're gonna get there and then start the live. Uh, Cause I, we realized, we did a test run, we realized that this motor can be you know, it could be a little bit annoying, so we didn't want to have that running for the whole time. Here's a village health area over here, health facility. You do not have to sit through sales meetings, no. You get here, you go check in at the sales center, your person takes you to your house, um, they show you around the house, what comes with it, how to work thing, different things that are not obvious, you know, and, um, then he said, okay, I'll let you guys, you know, get unpacked. And, you know, he gave us the rest of the day, basically. We, we just took off ourselves and on the golf cart yesterday and went, you know, in, in Brownwood and whatever for the music. And um, today we went to the recreation center. So he gave us a tour of those because we requested it. It wasn't mandatory. And we saw, so they have three different kinds of recreation centers here. The huge ones, um, which have basically um, big kind of uh, rooms that you can rent and stuff like that. Um, what else do the big ones have? Uh, lap pools and stuff like that. So if you want to do a sport kind of, um, you know, if you want, yeah, yeah, keep driving. Uh, if you want to do, you know, uh, exercise, pool exercise, that you go there. Um, then they have like. The next level down recreation centers which have sometimes it has pool tables in there family pools uh that's another thing pools here there are different age limits for different types of pools <clears throat> there are some pools that everyone can go to including kids uh there are sp family specific pools if you have little ones uh there are adult only pools 35 and older for some of those pools, got to be above 35. And then there's pools that are not kids, but I think you have to be like above 19. Yeah. 
19 to 35. So they've got a wide range. If you want to be left alone and you, you know, you don't want the kids around, maybe, right? There are places for you um, that will be quiet. And uh, we toured one of the family pools today. There are a few families out there, not bad. And um, then your neighborhood recreation centers basically have your mailboxes. You have to drive to your neighborhood recreation center and you get a box, basically. Little key, open up your box and you get your mail. And they'll have a small pool there for your neighborhood and some um, courts, like shuffleboard. Do they have shuffleboard there? Yeah. Um, the pickleball courts were at the medium size recreation centers and the larger ones. Tennis courts, pickleball courts. Um, what is that thing that you throw the bean bag? Why can't I even think of that right now? Uh, corn, uh, corn, uh, corn hole. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, they have those there if you guys want to, you know, just kick around, do something fun, right? Um, and so that's pretty much all there is at, oh, well, in your activities, we'll be at a recreation center. So they might have different classes. And here's the cool thing. If you come down here and you buy a place and you're, you're renting, even for the winter, and there's an activity, uh, a club that you want to start that's not ava already available, they will help you get it started. They will advertise for your club. They will send it around in the newspaper. They'll get the word out so that uh, they're very into promoting, you know, starting clubs that don't already exist here. So that's kind of cool. I'd do a cake decorating club. or fashion YouTube club <laughs> so uh, anyways that's you know so that's some more information for you guys we are uh, we're now back at our little house mr. Bentley look at how comfortable he is and the little golf cart he is like loving it so okay um, anybody have any questions I'm sorry I probably missed some of your scrolling you know questions or comments or whatever but if there's anything that you guys want to ask, let me know. Um, and then I think we'll call it a night for today and we'll see you tomorrow. But I want to wait a second because I know it takes a second to type. See if there's anything you guys want to ask that I didn't answer already. And you guys know that after this live is over, you can go back and watch it again. If there's something that you missed, you missed a house tour, um, you know, you just want to see something again, uh, you can always go back and watch it. Bye, Nancy. Bye. <laughs> uh, no questions? Nothing? Oh, okay. I'll leave you with this. The Bentley story. So I'm petting him today. You know, little Mr. Man, okay? All of a sudden, I feel something under his chin, on his neck. I'm like, what is that? That something's weird digging around in the skin I'm like Mark get over here get your camera take a picture because I didn't have my glasses on so I couldn't really see and I said what is it what the heck is that it I don't know if it was like a little skin tag that was like the blue you know we didn't know he blew it up on his phone guess what it was anybody want to take a guess before I actually tell you <laughs> I'm telling you what I was freaking out Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> it was a tick. Bentley's never had a tick before. I've never had a dog that had a tick before. I, we were paranoid. He was looking up on his phone. What the heck do we do with the tick? And so we're getting the Dawn dish soap, pouring that on. Yeah, now everybody's saying tick. It just took a minute. Because he read on Google, put palm olive on it. Okay, tried it. Nope, not doing anything. I'm like, quick, go to Publix get on the golf cart go to Publix we need we need like the petroleum jelly right I'm like go get that he had tweezers and a Swiss army knife so he comes back Bentley poor little Bentley is sitting in the sink for a half hour you know or whatever the whole time that we're panicking and getting what whatever so I'm like googling what do you do with a tick for anybody out there who hasn't had a tick dog situation they said get those tweezers as close to the the skin as possible and just pull slowly straight out no twisting no turning and I mean that sucker it I couldn't he had to do it I mean I was being 
I just, it's gross, you know? <laughs> I don't like that. And, you know, just thinking about what a tick is. It's like a little vampire. You know, we're watching the Vampire Diaries, so that's why I'm thinking of vampires. Um, it's like a little vampire. And he took that sucker out. He got it out whole. He, we put it in a plastic baggie because they say that if you do have, uh, you want to you wanna save the tick. And the reason why is because they say you don't need to take your dog to a vet if he's had a tick bite unless, and this is by veterinarians typically say, you don't need to rush him in, um, but unless you start seeing them act weird, you know, doing something lethargic or whatever. Yeah, hot match. I didn't want to put a hot match up to his neck. I could just see the, the, the fur going up in flames, right? And then we I got a fire on the dog. Oh, well, yeah, okay, right. Um, our brother-in-law got Lyme disease from a tick. I know, it, that, paranoid, right? So um, they, on Google, said put keep the tick because if, in fact, he starts showing any weirdness and you take him to the vet, you got the tick. Uh, I don't know, they can study it, see if the tick has Lyme disease or something, to know. You know, if you get rid of the tick, you won't know, uh, you know, what happened. So it works use it on sadie oh good to know so obviously i'm a little crazy and i'm thinking you don't put the hot man you just blow it out and then put it on there right is that that what you do your dog had a tick gave her lime i couldn't read the whole thing i'm sorry um anyways that was our weird story today that was our weird event so um all right well we're going to head out to dinner, I think. Oh, we're going to go order dinner, Mr. Wolfgang's, and bring it back, I guess. And then go to the town square, listen to some music. So, um, anyways, I am so glad that you guys joined us. Um, very happy that you're here. And uh, glad that we could show you around, show you what the house looked like that you would stay in if you came down here. Um, do I feel like I could live here after retirement? and be satisfied um well absolutely with the weather 100 percent um the villages are very clean i like that i like that everything is very neat clean there are things to do in the villages the village we're going to tomorrow you're going to see there's a lot more action this is a quieter village uh square so tomorrow you're going to see that that it is it is lively really lively in the other square which is great um so there is a lot to do. I don't think I could see myself living here full time 12 months a year. I think our plan at the moment, stay in Michigan, get away for the winter somewhere in Florida. That's why we're doing this exploratory you know, time. And um, you do get your own cart with the house. If you, if you come down here for a lifestyle preview, you get a golf cart that comes with your house and bikes. So that's pretty cool. Um, Anyway, we could see ourselves coming to Florida somewhere for a month or two in the winter. Um, have we, we tried Altitudes by Margaritaville? Do you know what village that's in? Is it in, um, or the square? Is it in uh, Lake Sumner Landing? Or maybe it's in Spanish Springs. Or maybe it's not and it's just somewhere close. I, I haven't seen that yet. But um, anyways, it's nice. I would like to come back here next year and, you know, maybe check it out a little bit more again because uh, we're only here for four days so uh, you can try the villages out yeah I mean that's the thing come and try it out if you're if you're thinking about it that's what this lifestyle package is for to come down and check it out keep in mind though you can only do this lifestyle preview one time in your lifetime so this is not it for us unless we come down with somebody else who it's their one time and we, you know, uh, stay in one of the other. Thank you, Denise. She said, welcome to Florida. Yeah. yeah. If you do it, you should do it for the full seven days because you can't beat the rate that they give you. Totally. You, there's yeah. no way you can get a house like this that's basically brand new. Yes. Three bedrooms for 200 a night with a golf cart. That's really cheap. In peak season, no less. Yes. So. And it gets cheaper. Like if you come in the summer, you know, it's gonna be hot, but I think it's, it goes down to $100 a night for the preview package. I would have booked a seven nights 
if I would have seen this, known more about it, whatever, in the beginning, I would have done the seven nights, not the four. So that would be my gift to you to tell you do the full seven days. It's really worth it, actually, with the house and like he's saying, you know. So, um, okay, you guys, I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow to go explore the next village with us. I hope that you guys got some info. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. I loved it. And um, I guess we're signing out, right? Until Bet we meet again. Yeah, until we meet tomorrow night, right? Can you get the preview deal again? No, it's a one time, Lori. One time. Now, I don't know what happens. If, what if he calls next time? Or yeah. maybe it's one per household. Yeah, I don't know I how they, they do it. That they probably out. they probably figured it out. But maybe if Bentley calls. Bentley's gonna call. That's what we're gonna do for next year. All right, Bentley, you wanna say bye? You wanna say bye to everybody? Say bye. Yeah. He's such a good doggy. All right, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.